howdies! We're here with another tutorial for you lovelies. We've had previous tutorials that teach you how to insert a screenshot into a mock-up image, but we wanted to approach it from a different angle this time and show you how to use hot stock images that feature a laptop or desktop that might be at an angle or not straight on. To do this, you'll need to edit in Photoshop. So first off, open Photoshop and set up your document dimensions. Once that's ready, you can drag and drop the image you want to use as the background. I want to make an all fall inspired graphic to post, so I'm choosing an image from the Goodbye Summer Collection that features a laptop at an angle. Next, you'll want to create a smart object where the laptop screen is in the photograph, so I'll show you how to do this next. You can choose to keep a black border or not, although most laptops do have a black border around the screen, but not all of them, so it's totally your choice. So first, you'll use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle shape, and you'll want to make the shape approximately the same size as the screen in the photograph, and it is best to create your rectangle in the color black, uh, just for future editing that we'll show you later in the video. Then you'll go ahead and go to Edit, then Transform, and choose Distort. So this way you can drag the corners to mimic the angle of the laptop and you'll have control to skew the shape as needed. So you're just going to want to go ahead and click the corners of the rectangle and just play around with dragging each of the corners to different places until you really get the right angle. It really is going to take some playing around, so don't get impatient, just keep going at it. And if you do click away from the rectangle and you find that your shape isn't quite right yet, you can go ahead and click on the direct selection tool and that'll allow you to click on those individual corners again and really just get your shape right. Finally, you'll right click the layer and select turn it into a smart object. Now you'll need to take a screenshot image to insert into the smart object you just created. You can use your computer's built-in screen capture, or I'm using the Nimbus Capture extension for Chrome. I'm going to take a screenshot of the Hot Stock Fall inspired quotes to stick with my theme and make a graphic that I can use to promote all the fall content we have available in the library. Because I'm going to be popping the screenshot into a laptop, it'll be easier if you make sure your screenshot is also a rectangle shape as well. I'm also zooming out a bit so we get more of the web page as a whole. Now I can go back to Photoshop and open up my smart object layer and drop in the screenshot image. Make sure your screenshot covers the shape you created. I'm going to rotate the screenshot to mimic the shape slant. And turning down the opacity will just help you see the shape behind the screenshot and make it easier to line up the two. I'm also going to need to distort the screenshot to match the shape's angle because it's such a weird shape. So I'll just go ahead and drag and drop those corners like I did when I was making the laptop shape. And you don't want to distort the image too much so that it makes it look wonky. It's just enough to make it match the screen's angle. So once you're done playing around and you're satisfied with the screenshot, you can go to your layers panel and create a clipping mask with your screenshot to make sure all the edges are clipped exactly to your screen shape. And then lastly, adjust the opacity in order to make the screen look a little bit more realistic. And you can close and save your smart object. And now that your shape is a smart object, you can always go in and swap out the screenshot for another image at any time as long as you remember to create that clipping mask with each new image that you're popping in. Your graphic is pretty much ready to save. The last step I would recommend if you're looking for it to be even more realistic is to play around with the layer styles by double clicking on your screenshot layer over by where the text of the layer is and it'll open up another dialog box. From here you can add a gradient overlay and play around with the opacity and angle to match the lighting in the photo.
The blend modes will also help it look more believable as well depending on the photo so you can try those out. And another element to try is adding a pattern overlay which can create some texture, some noise or grain to the screenshot in your photo. Again, test out different settings to get the best look of your background image. It's really gonna depend on the photo that you're using and the screenshot that you're using. So really sometimes it just takes some trial and error to find what's best suited for the mood that you're going for with your image. Once you're satisfied with the mock-up, you can go to File and save your image as a PNG to share with your followers. And there you go, you've added a new design skill to your repertoire to keep slaying the business game.